right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as a strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. How about the presence of Alistair Over? Ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually, you're on the back. It's not the need for watching him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sergey Pavlovich. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the Three. octagon tonight. So with a razor sharp focus, here is Alistair Overeem. Striking accuracy approaching 75%. We'll see if he can get that efficient game going here early tonight. Nice jab. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Nice short uppercut of the clinch by the ring. Right now they separate. combination there really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And he, man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Pavlovich is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice job defensively to sprawl and avoid that double leg takedown. Gets to the single collar time. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's a big hook there. Oh, he's doing a real good job of leveraging off with the strikes, too. The ring gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. And that was a solid kick. Whoa! Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, man, I'm sorry to feel bad for that. 
canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Nicely done. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Thirty seconds to go here. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Round two next. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to, to try to change the tide Ready. of this fight. Good. Second round underway. Watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I bet your 100 bucks it goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, let's I see. Let's see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can push me up with your words. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Pavlovich is starting to show serious signs of bruising now. Leg kick, but he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to... Oh. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh! Big combination. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, misses with the jab. Pavlovich gets the takedown, could be big here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet, very nice. Oh! The hip toss as he takes him down, now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Just misses with the jab there. Under a minute to go now in round two. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh. And the horn sounds oh. on round two. Heading back to the corner after that round. 
Overeem bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more Ready, importantly, play. look at the Ready. opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you run shot. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Oh, that lead left. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Patented knee there from Overeem. Oh, he's got his back. Big lift coming. It's time to take it for a while. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Immediately gets the underhook. He's got the single collar tie. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Lands a quick jab. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, big knee! A little slip there by the rear. Got that single collar tie. Pavlovich's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, man! Pavlovich's shot Watch is out. blocked. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Great submission defense. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. Now. That's three rounds stop, stop, at the can. Stop. We're headed to the championship rounds. Right, take a deep breath. Relax. You're okay. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to get paid. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do Fourth it. round now, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant. Back to his feet. Pavlovich gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's 
starting to see now the work is being done. They're starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. And he comes through with a big knee. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense holds up. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when you can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack him. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the damage inflicted by that element. Oh, good sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So after his opponent had a lot of success getting this fight to the ground early, not so much the case now. Certainly sniffed out that shot well. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. That one appeared to stun him. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes <laughs> visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> and there's a takedown attempt. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Well, now you start to see the frustration setting in. His thigh is just a mangled mess of bruises and not getting any better as these strikes continue to win. It can't get better because his opponent keeps going there. He's got to do something. Or he should have done something a long time ago to stop. Oh. Unbelievable! Oh, 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 my goodness. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alistair the Ream Overeem. So Alistair Overeem just continues to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Ream tonight. A guy who statistically is about as accurate a striker as we have on this run.